Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be touring the beautiful Hanover. Now, this is a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. It's out here at America's Home Place. It is a site built home, and I'm happy to show it to you today. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm just gonna give you a brief uh, look at what the outside looks like. It's really noisy here because we are right on the side of the highway, but I really wanted you to see up close um, what the outside looks like. In addition to that, this huge wraparound porch, it goes from one end of the house to the other. So enjoy the outside view and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the inside. This is the front door. When you enter the home, this is what you see. Really nice. So from the entryway, you've got, you got a lot to see. You've got the dining room on one side and the office on, the, on another. But we're just gonna spin around and show you all of the entry. and show you all of the entry. So this is the entry. You've got this tall ceiling here, big window. You can put decor up on that ledge. Uh, beautiful, you can put a beautiful chandelier up there. Like really nice, lovely, nice, uh, nice front entry. So much space in this entryway. It just makes the house feel grand. Again, I love the decor. I'm just gonna let you take it in. I'm not gonna call out so many details because you guys can see what I'm seeing. I just think this house is, the decor is absolutely beautiful. This entry table is, is beautiful, really nice. So from the front door, you've got two options. You can go to the office or to the dining room. We'll look at the office first. So to the when you come in the door, to the right is the office. This is what the office space looks like. Two big, beautiful arched windows in here, bringing in a lot of natural light. I like that they have the office painted a darker gray um, than the lighter gray, which is in the other parts of the house, as you'll see. Um, they have carpet in here and dark furniture, but I think it looks really, really, really nice. Really lovely. So we'll go in and spin around. Now this is technically a bedroom because it has a closet, but you've got the French doors in here. So this could be a nice mother-in-law suite if you use it as a bedroom or it could be storage area because you've got all of this closet in this office, in this room that they have decorated as an office. But again, it does have a closet, so technically it's considered a bedroom. It has French doors, really nice mother-in-law suite or guest bedroom if you decide not to use it as an office. So I'll give you another spin of this room, really nice. And then across from here, you have your dining room. Now you, you have the same two arched, windows 
but you have a third window in this room, which makes it even more brighter. Now this also has the darker gray. Um, it's painted in the darker gray, which is really lovely. But this room has the lighter furniture. So it's a nice contrast from the office. But as you can see, you've got a dining room table in here and you've got a buffet table in here. So there's a lot of space in here, you guys, for your furniture. The dining room leads into the kitchen. We'll look at that from another view. I used to have one of those wine bases. They are so cute. Okay, so we've only seen two rooms and I'm already at like seven minutes. So let's get going. Your stairs are here. We'll go upstairs in a minute. You've got a coat closet right here. And across from the stairs, you've got a powder room. So this is your guest bath. Excuse me, this is your, yeah, your guest bath, your powder room. Nice space in this powder room. Now they don't have a door to this powder room, but of course there will be a door here. Um, what she told me was that these homes are configured to tour. Some things will be slightly different for, ins for instance, the garage in this in this toured home, this model home, is next to it, but it would be off to the side and a little behind it if you actually purchase the home. So, something to think about. If you see something that seems a little off, it's because this is configured for a model home. Now, you walk into this open space. You have your kitchen slash family room, living room, whatever you want to call it here. This is the, I would call this like my living room or family room. Nice space in here. Uh, nice big furniture so you can see just how much space is in here. Lots of light. Look at all the windows. And you've got, it looks like double doors, but only one of those doors open. So that that those aren't true French doors, but you've got two panels there bringing in a lot of light. So this is your living room area. I'll walk over here so you can see it from another view. And having the furniture in here really gives you an idea of how to deck, how you could decorate it and also how it would look with your furniture in it. So really lovely. You've got a nice big island here. Uh, in the kitchen, it has four nice size uh you have four nice size stools here so you can tell it's a really big space and it has an eat-in kitchen look at all the windows in this eat-in kitchen you've got five windows in this eat-in kitchen five look at that look at that All right, so that is your eat-in kitchen. And then this is the kitchen space. Love that you use the white cabinets and the lighter countertops. It really makes it light and bright in here. Love the uh, granite countertops that they use. Nice, big, deep sink. Love the bronze hardware and finishes. And the bronze is also on the... Uh, the hardware on the cabinets, really lovely. You've got stainless steel appliances in here, which also makes it light and bright, really nice. And this is the peninsula, excuse me. This is your, your two level, this is your peninsula. And then you have an island right here that also has storage space. So really lovely. Again, this is the Hanover, four bedroom, three and a half bath. Lots of stuff to see, so let's move on. You've got lots of storage space in here, you guys. Lots and lots of storage space. You've got pantry space over here with pull-out drawers. Really nice touch. I love this. Really nice. 
better close it before I close it. <laughs> and then you got pantry space up here. Really nice. This hallway that leads to the dining room, you got even more pantry space. You got double doors on this pantry, you guys. So you can put appliances, food stuff, have a storage area, whatever you choose to use this pantry space for. For your home, you've got it all right there. Really nice. Really lovely. And again, that hallway leads to the dining room. You have an arched hallway. Arches in this, you have an arch hallway that leads to the dining room. Really lovely. Nothing on this side in the, in the way of storage, just that large pantry right there and this pantry space here. Really nice. Nice. I'll go ahead and open a cabinet. You got your corner cabinet right here. Love it with the lazy Susan. Love it. Lots of drawers in here. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh. Okay, so your dishcloths and things could go right there. I wonder why there was a drawer here and those were sinks. So you can just like stash your dishcloths and stuff there. And then you got these pot drawers over here. Really nice. Really lovely. And then again, you know, this is a true drawer. And then you've got storage space in the island and your trash or recycle stuff would go in there. Really lovely. Okay, so you've got your master over here. We will see that last. Let's go check out the upstairs. Okay, these are the stairs that lead up. Love this big mirror here. You can check yourself out. On the way out the door, I'll give you a view of it from up here. Love that you can check yourself out as you walk out the door. This is the railing over the front door. Really lovely. That's the big window that we saw. Got your chandelier there and your front door. So this is the view from up top. Really nice. Okay, first bedroom, 13 by six, 13 six by 12, 11. Nice size bedroom. They have two beds in here, which would be nice if you've got two children the same age, twins, two smaller children. Just if you have a need for the kids to share a room, this is a nice size bedroom to do that love it love the twin beds they have in here nice size closet for them to share so this is the closet for this bedroom super cute super cute room I, i've said it five times i'm gonna say it again i absolutely love the decor that they used in here now you've also got Another bedroom here. If I don't list the specs, they this is another view of this room. Nice size room. I'm trying to say the specs, but if I had, didn't say it, I can't remember if I said it for this room or not. They will be on the screen. Same size closet in this room. Boy, kids are getting nice closets these days. All right. Love it, love it, love it. Just 
so that's that bedroom so we've seen two bedrooms this is the uh additional bathroom nice size bathroom here So that's your additional bathroom. All right, you've got your master here. Really lovely master. This master is beautiful. So this is the master. All of this is master. Okay. So I need to explain this room. So we're going to take it one step at a time. So from the entry into the master, all of this is your, they have it decorated as your bedroom space, which is a lovely space, right? That's a huge bed. You've got two end tables. You've got a dresser here. You've got all of these windows and a door that leads out to the deck. So you've got a nice size deck will go check it out if the door opens and then you've got what you can make as a seating area over here so let's see if they allow us oh wonderful so this is the deck off the master i'm gonna walk in this corner and let you see you've got all of this space as a deck All of this space is your deck for the master. Really nice. They have the uh, doors on the outside painted black to match the uh, exterior of the home, which is super cute. Okay. So that's your deck. Over here, you have the master bath. Now, when you first walk in, you have this huge, huge, huge shower. I love how they have this super long drape or shower curtain and they have it hung pretty high. It just makes the room look so much taller. Look at the shower. You've got this nice size shower uh, with two benches. Really lovely. You've got soaker tub here. You've got double sinks here beautiful all of these shelves and drawers are at your disposal you've got your water closet in there with a window that opens for ventilation and then you've got two closets in here so his and her so you've got a closet here okay and then on the other side of the shower You've got a closet here. Wonderful. This bathroom is huge. Really nice. Okay, so that's your bathroom. Your master bath, okay? So we got it. We got this bedroom area, deck, and we've got the master. I feel like I'm making you guys seasick. You've got this bedroom area, nice large deck out there, and then you have your master closet and bathroom in there. Now, through this door, you have what I would probably make as my closet <laughs> off the master. I would probably get the uh, closet people out here and make this a nice big closet. Really lovely. I would put seating under those windows. Really lovely. Really lovely. This is like a bonus closet to the master. So 
if my husband had a had an office downstairs, I would have one upstairs or vice versa. This could also be a man cave of some sort. But knowing me, this would probably be our closet to share. Like that would be closet space too in the bathroom. But that would be more like pajamas, uh, robes, storage space. And this, I would actually have the closet people come out and do a really nice closet where I could come in here and feel like a queen. That's what I would do. So, because... I know you're probably thinking, no, that would probably be a bonus room. No, that would be my closet. The reason being is because down this hall, you have a bonus room. So you have a linen closet here. And then this space here comes actually as an unfinished bonus room that you could do what you like. This would probably be my husband's man cave. So this room is identical to the one on the other side of the master, but they have dining and living room items in here, uh, play games to show you what it could be. It would be a nice family room for most or hangout room for the kids or play room for the little ones. For me and my husband, this would be his man cave. This would be his spot to come and just chill out and relax. Okay, you've got your laundry room over here, huge laundry room. Honestly, I haven't heard an echo until I came into this laundry room. So you've got all of the space over here. You could definitely put a deep freezer over here or whatever you need, a craft area, whatever you need in this room. But this laundry room is absolutely amazing. It is super, super huge. Love it. So that is your laundry room. And then now in this hallway, you have bedroom number four. I thought this was the master and honestly, it's huge like it could be a master. This would also be a nice mother-in-law suite if uh, you or a guest bedroom uh, if you had someone to come live with you. Uh, they have a nice closet in here, and you could actually put a king-size bed in this one. And then you've got a shower, toilet, and one sink in here. But this is a nice size, nice size bathroom. Really lovely. And again, you could put a king-size bed in here if you desire. So really nice, really, really lovely home. Okay, you guys, that's the end of this tour. I've been talking for 30 minutes. Again, this is the Hanover. This home uh, total square footage is 5,082 square feet. Huge home. It's a four bedroom, uh, three and a half bath, okay? So if you're interested, all of the information that I have for this home will be in the description box below. See you in the next video.